Wayne. Let's go. Nice catch, Wayne. Um, What's up, this, buddy? this is all all uh, thanks to you too, because I was I was talking to Steve the other day. Okay. And I was telling him uh, that when I started, I didn't have a jig, I didn't have plastics, yeah. and you you give me a yeah. jig, you yeah. give me plastics, yeah. and that's how I started. Yeah. So thank that, you again. That, that, now you got a monster there. That that was a big fish. Oh, damn! <laughs> Just sitting there talking to Wayne. Oh man, Pete, we almost had a double header. the buck is up hope you having a bucket already today so today we're back walleye fishing so it's the start of a new season and uh you know i'm super super pumped about this i actually started catching fish already so you know i kind of cheated you guys out haven't made videos or anything yet like that yet but here we go let's do this um, you know the big mamas are in we're trying to get a few different colors you know I'm gonna start with something that we already been using uh, maybe a Bloody Mary first or something like that and then I might switch over some new colors but you know the fish are actually biting aggressive now the water has been dirty but clean now anyways let's start the wildlife fishing all right so you can see right now the water conditions are like super super clean uh i don't know if you guys can see that but my bait is roughly about two feet down there and uh that's a lot a lot of vis visibility so let's get this out there find this bottom and uh tag along with me and find some walleye here Alright, let's find this bottom. A little bit of windy. A little bit windy. We got a west wind coming beside us. You can see that there's some rain over there. But conditions are just right. I got a Bloody Mary on a three quarter ounce jig. Eight pound braid. I'm running a G Loomis E6X full and uh medium heavy 66 with the Shimano Vanford 3000 series so a lot of you guys have been asking what kind of rod this is it right here a few boats out there guys it's really dark right now because it's cloud. So if you guys ever fish out there and stuff like that, do you guys ever set goals for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of my goals, well I have two, two goals. It can be either or, I carry a measuring board and I try to see if I can catch a 30 inch fish or a 10 pound walleye. And that's my goal for each season. Sometimes I achieve it, sometimes I don't. But when you do, it's like equivalent to catching a 50 inch musky. So that's why I like to go for that goal right there, 10 pounds. I think you guys should set goals like that also to see where you guys get. Some people like to do numbers also. And uh, I don't like to do numbers because if I calculate how much I did in the whole entire year, man, it'd just be not even fair. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I, I actually did uh, 300 in one day, but I fished the whole entire day. Started at like 6.30 in the morning, and I finished at like maybe 6.30 at night, 7 o'clock. So it was all in all a really, really good day, and that is from shore too, so right from this spot. Just slammed them. And that was, uh, I think, the second year of like the true boom. I think maybe 2015 or 16, something like that. I don't know, one of the years I wrote like five years ago. 
but it was a fish pretty much almost every cast. A lot of you guys can probably remember those days. But it's still just as good. Bro, there's something, bro, bro, this one's pretty. Are you good, Oh, that's why I chinned it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. Appreciate it. That's okay. No, Silky Steve. Yeah. Silky Steve. <laughs> She works, she works, bro. Alright. Worked really hard for that fish. <laughs> yeah. So there you guys go, first fish of the day. Oh, this one's got a little bit of a, a scar that healed. Right on its side there. Previous damage, you see it? Yeah. Previous damage. That's alright though pounder or so onto the stringer <laughs> Second fish. Yeah. Well, you can hear it. It's my line in the wind all tight. <laughs> that thing smacked it though. Decent. Decent. Thank you.
That's a pretty big one there. Woo! All right. All right, guys. So there's my second fish of the day right there. Uh, roughly, I don't know, I'm gonna say guesstimate five pound-ish or so. Looks really, really big, but that is a long fish. Very, very long. So let's throw it on the scale real quick. We're gonna find out. say six pounds eight ounces yeah six six eight so pretty decent fish there hope you get another one Wayne let's go nice catch Wayne um this, this is all, all uh, thanks to YouTube because I was I was talking to Steve the other day. Okay. And I was telling him uh, that when I started, I didn't have a jig, I didn't have plastics, yeah. and you you give me a yeah. jig, you yeah. give me plastics, yeah. and that's how I started. Yeah. So thank that, you again. That, that, now you got a monster there. That that was a big fish. Oh, damn! <laughs> Just sitting there talking to Wayne. Oh man, Pete, we almost had a double header. Just talking to you, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me good luck there. Where you got your that almost landed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, All right, don't go crazy, don't go crazy, don't go crazy. All right, guys, so there's my third fish of the day. It actually took me a long, long time. I was using the buck there and uh, you know the water clarity right now is 50-50. Not really clean at all. You can see the pure mud line across but when you get a, that aggressive bite you want to kind of stick to it and uh, right now I find that when you jig low and slow when it's dirty water and it's cold you know you actually produce very well and that's what you would get right there. So check out the buck and uh, we're going to catch some more fish. So right there guys, there's your buck. Nice shoot, chartreuse belly, a little bit of black back and a few different colors inside there, but if you guys wanna get some of that, come see me. Let's get back in this water. Like I was saying, you can look out there, the water is tainted. Mud line is on the Detroit side. They seem to always get like nice and clean water and we always get the muddy water, but we still make do with what we got. Really, really windy though. Do you hear it gusting in the background? So you might not hear me very well. Sturgeon? Snagging, yeah. <laughs> oh, snagging. Yeah, snagging. Yeah, snagging, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I don't right now, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep. The water got dirtier, bro. Yeah, look at it. What are you talking about? I caught a couple. Oh, yeah. Hi, Levi! There you guys go. Another year of Levi! How you doing? How you doing, buddy? 
Which ones are yours? The one closest to me? Hi Levi! Hi boy! There you go guys! Levi is back! Levi is back! This is our uh, corner mascot right here. Go ahead, Romeo. Come back down Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. And yeah. Pass it out here. Okay. About three hours. Not zero. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Water's not that clean yet, though. Look yeah. at it. It's like it's like stained, man. But there's still the fish. East wind. Yeah. It was me and some other guy come down. Two other guys come down. Uh, okay, okay, okay. None of us got hit. Damn, that, that sucks. Yeah. There we go. So there's the fourth fish of the day. I'm using the buck still, so like I was just saying, with the windy conditions and uh, dirty, dirty water, it doesn't look dirty right now, but with the clouds are in the way, uh, you want to use a low and slow jig. Low and slow is where it's at, man. But here he goes. Yeah. Thank you, Pete. Oh. Yeah, you probably want to pull it up. Yeah, that, yeah, before it gets all tangled. Put a sturgeon in that day. So there you go, guys. Cool. On the buck still. You can see right there. That's the buck. Right in the mouth. Top of the lip. Perfect hook set. And uh, that's gonna be a perfect size eater right there. Let me see. Hold you out. That's a male. Nice male too. Roughly about three poundish. Good size eater. Oh, my rod. Chua. Chua. All right, it's a quick little shout out here. I want to shout out that shoreline right there. I know there's a few of my buddies fishing over there, like T, E, and uh, Fatty. You guys be fishing like the post office area and stuff like that. So, yeah, show me some fish. And then I got uh, Chelsea Charles that fishes right about, I'm going to guess there. She showed me some pictures and she's right there, right, right under the bridge usually in that section there. So, shout out to you and uh, hopefully you guys catch some fish and you guys can show me. So, right now, my number four and uh, it's, it's tough, it's tough. It doesn't want to move. This one does not want to move. There you go, starting to head shake. Uh, right, right below our feet. Right below our feet, bro. Number five. Number five. Thank you. Finally. That was a few hours there before that last one there. Nice one. I started giving up hope. Three? It's a male. Look at that, it's a long male again. Cool. Yeah, it's starting to look, it's starting to sperm. Yeah. <laughs> nice hook set right at the top of the mouth. Oh, so you guys can see. Yeah, man. Bait. Hook up. Yeah. Nice one, eh? Long male. Three, four pound? I would say about four pounds. Four pounds yeah. yeah, four pound dish. So you guys can see right there, I'm still using the buck. And uh, that's my fifth fish of the day. It took me a lot of work because the wind came in and spoiled our, spoiled everything. <laughs> what are you saying, bro? 
Good to see you, man. Riding around, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was fishing at the bridge yesterday, but... How'd you? Fuck, I think I caught that guy that jumped out the bridge. There was a guy. There was a guy that jumped off the bridge. Last week. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't even know about that. Wall like that. I got snagged on something. Oh. Like well, guy that left his car up there, right? Oh, oh no. God, so he left his car up there. Really? That's crazy. Don't jump off that bridge. Oh, <laughs> Number six. As soon as Romeo left you, I was like, watch, right in this spot. Bad luck. Right in this spot. Wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, let it get closer first, bro. You got one too? Jesus Christ, Nick, double header buddy! Clifford! <laughs> Oh, I don't need to reach for it. Don't need to reach for it. Let it get closer. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Whoo! Another male. All right. Let me get this out of the way so Nick can get out. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Whoo! So there you guys go. And that is gonna finish off my day and i caught a lot of big males today look at that that's another long male really long but that's my limit fish the canadian limit over here is six i know you guys got i think i, I think america has changed also i think they get six also but six is always a perfect number it's a lot of meat it's gonna definitely feed my family and oh right there that's the end of my day. Lots of nice sized fish here. Whew. So there you guys go. Gonna stick that right through the bottom of them right here. And right there. My beautiful six fish. So if you guys like that, enjoyed it you guys went through the struggle with me the wind was super strong we started off with a nice day overcast and then uh the bike shut off you know i fished roughly about five to six hours and this is the result so say i fish an hour usually that's not me it's usually a fish a cast but here that's not me. so see you guys on the next one like, share, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.